Hey guys, what's up? It's Charlie here and today we're going to be looking at the 10 most dangerous dog breeds in the world. So, dogs can be loving creatures, including many of the breeds on this list. But occasionally, because of their breeding or upbringing, some dog breeds can be more dangerous than others. This list is based on statistics, so don't get offended if your dog's breed is on here. And be sure to like the video and subscribe and comment I subscribed and I'll try to reply to all of you. So, coming in at number 10, we have a Rottweiler. Now, this dog can be domesticated and tamed at times, but sometimes even tamed Rottweilers that people have as pets can go rogue. Rottweilers are responsible for 60% of all dog bites in the United States, meaning that hundreds of people are bitten by Rottweilers each year, and they have a bite force of 328 pounds. To put that into perspective, that's half of a shark's bite force. Rottweilers are bred to be incredibly strong and, unfortunately, often bred for illegal dog fighting. And while they can be trained to stop being violent, that doesn't always stop outbursts of violence from some rehabilitated Rottweilers. A few weeks ago, a 21-year-old man was killed by his mother's Rottweiler when he was visiting her. And just a few days before making this video, a baby was killed in France after a Rottweiler bit its head. Next up, we have Doberman Pinscher. These dogs used to be used as police dogs around 20 years ago, but now police typically use Belgian Malinas and German Shepherds. However, just because police don't breed them anymore, don't think they don't still have a lot of breeding aspects that police would want. They're incredibly strong and fast and can sometimes be aggressive to strangers, but will always remain loyal to owners, as you might expect from a police dog. With modern breeding, they're increasingly becoming more gentle, but despite that, they do still bite and kill people. In 2014, a video went viral of a man being killed by a Doberman Pinscher. And in Texas in 2016, a pet Doberman Pinscher bit the woman who owned it and killed the woman's four-year-old daughter. Next up we have Boxer. Boxers used to be bred for very aggressive reasons, such as attacking enemy soldiers in World War 1, and then after that they were used for hunting foxes and deer. They're incredibly strong and have very powerful bites, but they're now used as family pets. And also for security, being the most popular dog breed for family home security. But this can sometimes go too far. Boxer dogs are responsible for 20% of all dog bites in the United States. And in 2009, a four-year-old boy accidentally went into his neighbor's land and was killed by their two Boxer dogs in what the dog's owner called a freak accident. Boxer dogs are also known for killing other dogs. For example, in 2016, famous heavyweight boxer Derek Chisora had his pet Pomerian dog ironically killed by two boxer dogs. Next up we have Great Dane. These dogs are very popular and many people own and love trained Great Danes. However, these dogs can be deadly, mostly because of their size. The dogs can be up to 90 centimeters tall and weigh over 200 pounds, and they grow incredibly fast and can achieve this in just one year. In fact, Zeus, the tallest dog in the world, is a Great Dane, measuring at 8 feet tall. And Great Danes can be aggressive because they used to be bred to hunt wild boar. In 2004, a two-year-old girl was killed in South Carolina after being mauled to death by two of her neighbors Great Danes. After the dogs broke the chains that were holding them to a tree. And in 2016, another woman in Australia was attacked after a Great Dane bit her on her front yard, and later tragically died from the injuries in hospital. Next up is Husky. Huskies are very energetic dogs which are often full of life. They're sled dogs which means they were bred to pull people on sleds in snowy environments, which is why they're very strong and agile. But because these dogs were bred to pull sleighs out in the snow, they're sometimes not as domesticated as other breeds of dogs. And because of this, they can be very difficult to train. Last year, Husky dogs killed over seven people in the United States alone. And earlier this year, a mother in Pittsburgh was charged with the death of her two-year-old baby girl after she forgot to close the door of the room her baby was sleeping in and then the family husky came in and mauled the baby girl to death. Next up is German Shepherd. As I said before, German Shepherds are now the most common breed of dog that police use. The reason why? They have a bite force of nearly 400 pounds, which is more than half of a shark's bite force. They're also incredibly fast and strong and can take down a grown man with one jump. But when they're not being used as police dogs, they can also be used as house pets. But without police training and sometimes no training at all, these dogs can be dangerous. They're known for biting and sometimes killing smaller dogs in parks or on streets, such as one small dog that was mauled by a German Shepherd in 2016. And it took six men to get the giant German Shepherd off the dog. And in 2014, a 13-year-old girl was badly bitten by a German Shepherd and she had to have 50 stitches to recover. 
Next up on the list, we have Bull Mastiff. Bull Mastiffs are very large and strong dogs, and can often grow to 70 centimeters tall and weigh over 140 pounds. They were bred as guard dogs, so they can be incredibly aggressive to humans sometimes, which is why having them properly trained is so essential. But unlike some dogs, there's no laws that breeders or owners have to train Bull Mastiffs. So sometimes things can go wrong. A year ago in a town near London, a dog was ripped to shreds by a Bull Mastiff when the woman who owned the dog was walking it in a park. And in Texas in 2014, a Bull Mastiff came into a school and attacked several teens who thankfully were only seriously injured and didn't die. Coming up next, we have a wolf hybrid. Every dog breed descends from wild wolves, but this breed still has a direct connection, and they're still bred today using real-life wolves and domesticated dogs. And because of the huge differences in wild and domestic dogs, this can lead to some of the dogs being either very calm and relaxed, or very unpredictable, messed up, and dangerous. The dogs are banned in the UK and in nine US states, along with many other countries, just because of how dangerous they are. But some people still own them, even though they can sometimes be fatal. For example, in 2014, a woman who owned a wolf hybrid was bitten by it and tragically died. But next up, we have Malamute. These dogs come from Alaska, and like huskies, they're sled dogs. And they used to be used to pull sleighs, making them very strong. After that, they were used more as hunting dogs as huskies took over sleigh pulling, meaning that they're very aggressive towards other animals, specifically smaller dogs. In 2014, a mother in the UK killed her own Malamute after it ate the woman's baby. And the breed is responsible for about seven bites per year in America alone. And finally, we have Pitbull. These dogs have a bad reputation, but can be very friendly when domesticated. Unfortunately though, some people don't properly train their Pitbulls and disaster can strike. They're known as the most aggressive dog breed and cause around 20 deaths in the United States every year. 12 countries have banned the dog, including Canada, New Zealand, and Brazil, because of how frequently they attack people. They often attack children, and a study found that in 94% of those attacks, the dogs were completely unprovoked. A week before recording this, a Pitbull owner was fined $70,000 after his Pitbull killed a child in Atlanta. And two days before recording this, a Pitbull killed another dog after its owner let the Pitbull off its leash in a Los Angeles park. And that just about wraps up this video. Check out the poll in the top right corner, and you guys can vote for the scariest dog breed on this list. But as always, thank you guys for watching. Check out some more videos on screen right now. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe.